Hi, this is Tech Tips with Brittany Smith. And I'm here today to show you how to delete all your Pokemon Go buddy photos that have been hogging up your camera roll in one go. If you like Pokemon Go and you use your buddy at all, you might have ended up with a lot of useless buddy photos. It's a thing, they give you hearts. If you don't play, don't worry about it. But the point is your camera roll can get filled up with garbage that you don't want. And these technically aren't screenshots because it's taken with your camera, but through the Pokemon Go app. I struggled with this one for a little while, but I finally came up with a shortcut that mostly addresses the problem. Seriously, if anybody has a better way to do it or can find metadata saying that the photo came from Pokemon Go, tell me. This is my solution. We'll start by, what else? Opening shortcuts. This one is actually already made for you. So what I needed was a defining feature specifically of my buddy shots. And I finally noticed how low the resolution was on my buddy photos. And that was what finally gave me the idea. The important thing is to add in a set of criteria that specifically apply to you in addition to the ones here. So I'm finding all of the photos in my photos album that are not a screenshot because these are not technically screenshots where the media type is image i don't need videos or anything like that where the width is less than a thousand pixels and the height is less than two thousand pixels the photo is not a favorite occasionally there are buddy photos you take or pokemon go photos that are on purpose i know weird right but you don't want to getting mixed in with those for example when my family took a trip to hawaii we took great pleasure in taking pictures of Pokemon that fit in with the environment with our family in the picture. We don't want to delete those. One of the things I added in to try to remove ones where it's seeing faces up close was to make sure that the album was not a selfie. So it's going to try to rule out ones where you're all up and close and personal with it and it sees a face. And then we're going to choose from the photos. It's selecting them all initially and selecting multiples, obviously because some of them will be intentional or just a really low resolution photo will get snuck in there. You don't want it to just massively delete all of them. That's why if you can add additional criteria, it could be really helpful. And then the next action is delete the photos. Let's test it out. Oh, these all look like, oh, look, here's some ones I gotta get rid of, but the rest look okay. All right, delete. Am I sure I wanna delete those photos? Yes. There we go. A quick and easy way to delete your Pokemon Go photos. It's important to note that these dimensions will change with your device. For example, if you take a whole bunch on your iPad, the dimensions are gonna be a lot bigger. Just a Pokemon Go thing, I guess. There are also some ways you can get really fancy with this using third-party apps. For example, there's a third-party app called Toolbox Pro, and in it, it includes an option to detect if there are faces inside of a photo. It's quite a bit fancier than we're using. I'm assuming that if I'm taking a picture of a Pokemon with a person, that I probably wanna keep that photo. So here on this one, I've added actually quite a few more restrictions. One of them is to get the current date. And that's important because I probably don't wanna delete anything older than two years old. So then I'm going to use an action called adjust date. And that's going to make the date two years ago. And part of the reason for this is my main criteria in removing photos is based on the resolution. And again, the resolution doesn't work the same if you're say taking your picture on an iPad, you'll have to adjust the resolution up. But part of the reason the resolution can be tricky is if you have really old photos in your photos library. The problem with this is older photos had a lower resolution, which means that we could accidentally select a bunch of really old photos, say the ones of my grandparents that I imported from them. I don't wanna lose those for my photo library. So I'm going to restrict photos that are older than two years old. The next thing we're gonna do is make sure that your things are really restricted. So I added in a date is taken after the adjusted date above, and that's using a magic variable. And then I also had an album that contained a lot of icons, which are also lower resolution. 
because otherwise I have to uncheck those every time. And now I've got this action in here to repeat with each photo. This means the whole shortcut's gonna take longer, by the way. I have a whole action in here with every single photo. I want you to detect if there's faces. So it's gonna stop, use its machine learning algorithm to try to detect if there's a face. And then it's going to, it says get text. And that's just because one of the things that the faces data reveals is whether or not there's a face in it. And it gives you nothing if there's no faces. If the text out of it contains the word face and that capital F does matter, don't do anything, it contains a face. Otherwise, add the repeat item, so that's the photo that went in, to photos to select. And that's going to send it in outside of the repeat loop to a scripting section that says choose from photos to select. Because I still want to actively choose the photos. All the filters in the world are not going to account for every picture I might want to keep. And since we're talking about deleting pictures, it's so much better to be careful than not. But it also really sucks to have a zillion buddy photos. So I'm going to select multiple. I'm going to select all initially because I really am trying to make those filters only find the right photos. And then once I've selected them, it's going to delete them. Then I have the action to select from the photos. That is only the photos that the other app did not detect a face in. But I still need to actively choose them because there's an awful lot of use cases that it might not have found. I mean, the algorithm's not perfect. And then after you've deselected the ones you do want to keep, you can go to delete and chosen item. Now, if something does go really horribly wrong, do remember that there is a delete photos section in your photos app. It will hold on to photos for around a month. Don't rely on it. But if you realize that you made a mistake right after you run this shortcut, or if you want to double check, you can always look through that album and make sure there aren't any photos that you need to restore. Thank you so much for joining me. Now you can delete your buddy photos all in one go. Don't forget, catch them all. Okay, in order to, doing talking.